All right, now to the latest WMUR Granite State poll. And tonight we are taking a look at the two congressional districts in New Hampshire. In the first CD, it's Democrat Carol Shea Porter and Frank Inta for a third time. But in this sample, it's newcomer Marilyn Garcia who is gaining speed in the race against incumbent Annie Custer in the second congressional district. For incumbent Carol Shea Porter, a three point lead over Frank Inta isn't bad news a month out from the election. But 42 to 39 isn't a reason to celebrate either. The difficulty for Shea Porter, despite the fact that she's ahead right now, is that she has been under 45 percent since um, uh, really this entire year. And for an incumbent, you really want to be at 50 percent or above. In terms of popularity, Shea Porter is doing well with 41 percent seeing her in a favorable light, 29 percent unfavorable. While Ginta has taken some lumps of late with his favorability now two points underwater. And his favorabilities have continued to drop over the last several months. So the negative ads against Ginta seem to be working. And that's being translated into the horse race numbers in the first CD. In the second CD, though, a major shift toward Republican Marilyn Garcia, who now leads incumbent Democrat Annie Custer by four points, 41 to 37 percent. But Custer's bigger problem also lies in favorability, as 37 percent see her in a negative light, nine points higher than the 28 percent who view her favorably. Despite her lead, Garcia is also three points shy of breaking even in that category. This is an example of a race where you've got two unpopular candidates and frankly two candidates who are becoming increasingly unpopular. As in all the races, there is still a large pool of undecided voters out there, but in two of the tightest congressional races in the entire country, the conversation appears to be changing. For the most part, we thought that Republicans would easily grab the first congressional district. Meanwhile, Andy Custer would probably hold on in the second congressional district. These numbers flip this thinking on its head. All right, uh, full numbers on congressional district races can be found right now on WMUR.com. Now, tomorrow, the eyes of the nation are on a Senate race between Gene Shaheen and Scott Brown. We're going to see how that race looks now, less than four weeks till Election Day.